Okay, ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to explain to you about data analysis. So before we begin, I need you understand about the uh, functions of the statistic. Lah. Statistics actually a tools for you to make a decision. So you have a puncture tire. What you need? You need a spanner, you need a plier, kan? Plier yang takkan boleh buka lah. Kau punya tire tu. So all these things is actually a tools. A tools for you to make decisions. So what kind of decision that we make? So the decision is all about the data, eh? So, why you need to learn statistics is because you need to do your research in the future, right? But that is not the big story. The big story that I can share with you is actually you learn this thing so that you can help a researcher outside there to produce a quality research for KKM. Uh, that's uh, the first thing, lah, not KKM, lah, inclusively all of your organization. Lah. And then besides that, the skill of research is very important for you so that you do not make any mistake or you don't waste your resources so that is the most important thing eh? okay before we begin about our data analysis i need you to understand about the concept of statistic okay statistic is actually a data you have a data and then based on that data we are going to analyze our data so after you analyze your data so you are going to do the interpretation of the data so i'm going to give you some idea and overview about data analysis so that you can have a clear picture about our topics today. Okay, so the uh, review of statistical concept. So this is a statistical concept that will cover almost everything and every aspect during our uh, discussion <coughs> for the whole classes. Okay, so this is my name. Okay, statistical concept, Ismail S.A. Ismail is my surname, so you can call me Mr. Ismail also, no problem. So um, let us begin with our learning objective. So I want you to understand about the statistics. Huh? And then we need to understand about the statistical concept. And then I want you to understand also the scale of measurement. The most important aspect that I need you to understand before we go for a break at 10 a.m. is your scale of measurement. If you do not understand the scale of measurement, do not come back to the classroom. Okay? You just stay outside. Can you do that? Cannot lah kan? You must understand. It's just a very simple thing. And then the last one but not least is the matching the statistic with the appropriate statistic <coughs> approach. So this one will be associated with our training tomorrow using a computer application. So if you do not have a computer, make sure that you borrow to your friend, you buy a new one, or the last but not least, you steal it from others lah. <laughs> okay? So that is the, the idea. Okay, this is the definition of statistics. Statistics have two meanings actually. The first one is actually the numerical facts, and from that numerical facts, we meet, we make some interpretation, and from that interpretation, we need to understand also about the concept of how you can analyze those data. Okay, for example, eh, uh, in the health science, we got a lot of data, eh? so the data is being gathered or being collected from many aspects. For example, if you go inside the clinics, we need to have the demographic background of the patient, right? You need to have the name, the age, the, the gender, uh, occupation, um, what else? Uh, demographic data regarding the, the places of work, places of stay. And then there are, there are elements that are relevant to their clinical issues. For example, uh, in your aspect of expertise, you are looking into the cancer, right? So the cancer is actually being, um, being happened or the cancer is being caused by multiple factorial, correct? So some of it are coming from the uh, uh, occupational agent, some of it coming from the environmental factors, nutritional factors, genetic factors, and all these things. So as a researcher or as a, um, those who are providing the services, we need to understand what is the underlying factors that may or may not contribute to these uh, cases or these issues. Eh? But I believe uh, no one here is a uh, physician that I should talk with. But um, as long as you are helping them, you need also to understand because there are a lot of factors outside there that may influence our patient to get the cancer. So when you get a cancer, it's a sad story lah. Betul tak? Ke memang you happy dapat cancer? You all happy lah sebab you dapat kerja kan? Uh, orang yang dapat ni, dia tak akan happy lah eh. My former lecturer also already been diagnosed uh, with cancer and I'm very sad. Um, but I'm not sure. I think uh, he he managed to to settle all these things lah. Hopefully he is okay now. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, now we continue about this thing. The first one, we need to collect the data and then we need to analyze, present and interpret. So the most important part is actually the analysis and also the interpretation. The collection of data is very simple. You can ask anybody else in the world to collect the data for you. You can make the data 